So hi, uh, my name is Logan. I'm here with Olivia to talk about the Meshoppin Creek watershed. Um, so to start, can you tell me a little bit about your watershed? Of course. Meshoppin Creek is a tributary of the Susquehanna River. It is situated in the southwestern Susquehanna County and the northern Wyoming County of northeast Pennsylvania. The Meshoppin Creek watershed is 31 miles long and about 114 square miles overall. It consists of three townships in Susquehanna County, three townships in Wyoming County, and includes Meshoppin, Pennsylvania. In the early 1900s, major industries within the watershed included agriculture, quarries, and sawmills. Water from the creek was used to power the flour mill in Meshoppin and supplied water to the Lehigh Valley Railroad that used to pass through Meshoppin. So in the early 1900s, major industries within the watershed included agriculture, sawmills, and quarries. Um, in 1921, the largest communities in the watershed of Meshoppin Creek included Meshoppin, which had a population around 630 people, and Springville, around 550. Today, the creek serves as a cold water fishery for anglers and can also be used as a non-motor boat recreational area when in higher waters. Uh, and where does this watershed drain into? The Meshoppin Creek Drainage Basin is part of the upper north branch of the Susquehanna Drainage Basin, emptying into the Susquehanna River in what is considered the Middle Susquehanna. The Susquehanna Basin accounts for 45% of Pennsylvania, 11% of New York, and 3% of Maryland. Flowing from upstate New York to the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland, with an average load of 22 billion gallons of water a day, the Susquehanna is the largest contributor of fresh water to the Chesapeake Bay. The freshwater inflow to the bay mixes with salt water from the Atlantic Ocean, forming an estuary. The quality and quantity of water from the Susquehanna and its tributaries are directly affecting the bay's health and productivity. The Susquehanna's large drainage basin of or watershed means that the pollution that flows into the Pennsylvania rivers and streams ultimately finds its way to the Chesapeake Bay. Are there any water quality concerns within your watershed? There are. Actually, in 2009, hydrofracking became really big in Pennsylvania. That was like the peak of it. And in northeast Pennsylvania, we have well pads being drilled or being formed every single day and wells being drilled. Since the start of hydrofracking in the area, there has been a growing concern for groundwater quality and surface water. In the process of constructing, constructing well pads, Substantial clearing of forests and grasslands are being converted to flat, nearly impervious surfaces all over the area. This is also a concern for the surface water quality as runoff is increased and erosion is also increased. Um, prior to the hydrofracking activity, water testing consisted of the normal test that would be run in a watershed. But since more, recent, or more recently, um, over 200 organic chemicals are being tested within the watershed which is very concerning because these chemicals, even in low amounts, can be harmful to human health and other organisms within the watershed. So what is the topography like within your watershed? So the topography within the watershed is very rough and rigid. There's rounded hills and valleys. It's not very flat. Uh, how is the land used within your watershed? The land use within consists of an estimated 62% forested, 30% agriculture, 6% developed land. It's very underpopulated very low population, and 1% um, is considered water storage, which would consist of your ponds, lakes, and wetlands. Thank you for taking the time to share with us about your Meshoppin Creek watershed. Thank you.